Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's all-new Dragon Ball Super Review. Um, if you're just joining in the channel, make sure to hit check out the rest of my videos. Go ahead and punch that like button and that subscribe button, and go ahead and turn on the notification bell, because YouTube can be kind of weird sometimes, especially with all the stuff going on right now. And uh, be sure to you know follow up for more weekly updates for Dragon Ball Super. Um, uh, as you can see, I'm playing a game in the background, but pay no attention unless you just want to. Um, anyways, so this week in Dragon Ball Super, I found this episode to be quite spectacular. Honest, it, it was it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, we got to see a new dynamic of. Namekians, um, you got to see like an emotional connection to the disappearance, of, you know, the, the only times we've seen universes get eliminated, it was like an anger based elimination, they were so pissed off, this time it was like, you know, oh, we'll get erased with triumph, and I thought it was actually kind of cool, just the way they went about it, and everything, like, Especially with Shampa and all the Universe 6 people kind of just waving goodbye. And then you had the Universe 2 of love celebrating their love to the end. Which, I, do, I guess that's like their version of energy. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. But I think that that's what's going on there. Is that that's their whole version of key or whatever however you want to describe it. Um, I, I, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I try to be so that I at least know what I'm talking about. But anyways, so let's get started here with picking up where last week left off, where um, the androids had taken out Ribrian and, well, really the only one I cared about was Ribrian. God, I was so glad to see her gone. Anyway, so you've got these three goofballs from Universe 2 left, and then you have um, the Namekian battle that's been going on this whole freaking time. Literally, like, what, I want to say like five episodes, the freaking Namekians have been trying to go at it with uh, Gohan and Piccolo. <laughs> One thing I want to mention real quick is, and and... Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, you know. If I'm wrong, let me know so I can go back and check it out and make sure. But uh, I don't think we saw any glimpses of Universe 11 in this episode. I really don't recall seeing a single one. As a matter of fact, I don't even remember what happened between Topo and Vegeta. Neither of them rung out. How did they get separated? I don't remember. Was it one of the times... Was it the fight with Kefla and Goku that interrupted their fight? I don't think so. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's just a little side note. Um, but so yeah, you got these three goons, and they're clearly getting their ass handed to them, like it's a guarantee. And you just see, you know, you see. So then everybody in Universe Two is cheering them on, giving them their energy, basically, and they transform into the same, literal same characters, basically, as the other, you know, Ribrian and those other two people do. And it's just kind of funny because they're like, "We may be ugly, but our love is still beautiful." And it's gay. And then that whole time you've got the fight with Piccolo and then and Gohan and the Mechians, which I felt like kind of had to be hard for Piccolo as a character. And I, I get it, they're just characters in a TV show, but come on, that has to be a bit of a, a difficult struggle. Even for them to write that in just really has to go and show, like, is that a fucking, what the fuck was that? Can I see that again? I don't know. Oh, that's right, this is a giant turtle. Um, Sorry, I got distracted. So, uh, you know, it's, that's got to be hard for the characters, and I get it, like I was saying, they're just characters, but I feel like the show's been going on for so long at this point that they have a, they have true emotions. Um, anyway, so, you know, you've got that fight going on, and you see the Namekians power up, 
you know, it's a pretty one-sided fight. Gohan still hasn't powered up to his mystic form, or if you want to call it uh, Ultimate Gohan Unlocked, or whatever you want to call it. I, I like to stick with the mystic term. That's what I've been calling it since I was a kid. That's what I know it to be called, so mystic. <laughs> but anyways... So, he hasn't powered up yet, and, you know, Pickle is a strategist fighter, so he, he's he been saving all of his energy for when he needs to. And you see Kefla, or not Kefla, wow, you see Khalifla? Yeah, you see Khalifla powering him, pow or, you know, cheering him on and telling him, like, oh, if you guys lose, I'm going to clobber you. And then, um... That's when they start getting this like white aura about him, and Piccolo just sees like all these millions of Namekian eyes behind him, and it just it was kind of a cool dynamic. As a matter of fact, I had a buddy talking to me. He's like, "Dude, I heard that like the two uh, the two Namekians from the, that universe had like their whole villages fused with them." And I was like, "Yeah, no, they they did, and it was pretty cool." But honestly, I felt like they downgraded their power. If you're gonna tell me. An entire village of Namekians fused together couldn't stand up to that. Like, I saw how powerful Piccolo got just from fusing with one Namekian. Let alone, and then another Namekian up against the androids. Like, he surpassed Vegeta for a while. But yet... So, I, I don't know. I guess, good for them, they showed how strong Gohan really is. But... I just felt like they downrated those Namekians, and that was a little bit of poor writing, I I want to say, but it's whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish focusing on their fight real quick and finish it out, then I'll go back to the universe two. Um, so you know, obviously two universes got eliminated this ma this match, and then it's, it's it is what it is. It's finally starting to get down to the the big bad. <laughs> stuff and you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a real it's gonna be a real real intense deal when it get, when it comes down to it because I don't know uh, I don't know I think this fight with Jiren and them is coming up and it's really gonna be intense I I think I think it's gonna end on a pretty strong note and it's gonna be really badass basically um, I picture, I predict that we've only got like five, maybe ten episodes left max. So, but we'll see what happens. Anything could happen. Anyways, going back to the fight. Um, so, you know, they they get, they're all like, oh, well, those words weren't very motivating, but that's okay, it did the trick, and then they power up, and Piccolo sees all the, well, feels the beating eyes of the millions of other Namekians, and they kind of start going ham, but then Gohan powers up, and then Piccolo's laying there like, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Because he got his ass handed to him for a second. And then he remembers, wait, I fused with two people too, now I know what I'm fighting for. And he gets up, and he stands up to him. And I guess I kind of get it, because, in a sense, Nail was the strongest fighter of their planet Namek, so that would make him pretty powerful. And then Kami was very powerful because he was a guardian like that automatically gives him pretty strong power so and then piccolo himself was already a genuinely strong fighter um but it's it it was so i get i get how they could say that if the namekians from universe 6 weren't necessarily that strong then it'd make a lot more sense but, you know, we don't know a lot about Universe 6 or the other universes, so we know what we know. Um, anyways, so we get on, and Piccolo gets back up, and he's like, you know, Gohan tells him basically, like, okay, if you can, I'll distract him if you can, you can charge up your special beam cannon. You know, and he's like... All right, sounds like a sounds like a deal, and then Gohan gets wrapped up in the Namekian arms, and Piccolo Piccolo starts thinking, "Oh crap, I better fire now," instead of just thinking Gohan can handle it. And 
he fires too early, and that's when they kind of get wrecked for a second. It's, it's just kind of it's it's interesting, but then needless to say, it comes down to it, they get eliminated. Big surprise there. You know, honestly, coming into this episode, I didn't expect this to be too serious of a, of a fight for anybody in Universe Seven. Like we knew what was gonna happen pretty much. So, but then if we get back to the Universe Two portion, um. So these three losers power up, and you already know they're not that strong. Like, we, everybody knows it. But anyways, they they power up, and it's all neat, and everything's going great, and they're getting their asses kicked. But then they pull off this, I don't even know what to call it, a black hole, basically. And it crushes down all three of them, you know, Goku, Android 17, Android 18. And they're, the weight of it is supposed to be so bearing that it's going to send them through the fucking floor. And that's pretty cool, but... You know, I, th I don't know. It wasn't... I felt like it was basically just a, a mock of a spirit bomb, but used in a, with a different form, a different technique. Had a different effect to it. Um, But then this is where you see Goku basically surpassing his limits again and it was uh, this was the part that really got me is it just showed the dynamic you know here of how Goku's strength has changed throughout this entire tournament and they took the they took the opportunity to uh sit here and do a little father son thing which is kind of cool which you know Goku's like man that's some attack He's like, and it's such a shame it has to end this way, but the law stands back up, goes blue, and then, you know, they do the little Kamehameha thing where they flash back and forth and then fire at the same time. And that was pretty fucking cool. Like, that was really cool. Uh, it really, really made me appreciate that episode more. And, it, yeah, yeah, no, that was just an amazing part of that episode. But anyways, carrying on. So, that is pretty much the end of the episode. I mean, I think it shows a little bit of Vegeta fighting with Power Ranger dude. But, that's, uh, you know, that's about all I remember with that. I don't, I don't think he rung him out. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the extent to, to my review here. Um, so there was some poor writing there at the beginning, but all in all, I think they did a pretty good job with this episode. And I'm really excited to see next week's episode with the invisible fighter, which isn't actually invisible. They're just microscopic bugs. Gross. But, so that's going to be a really interesting episode, I think. And I'm I'm really excited for it. But to the main point here, uh, to wrap this this video up, I really hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, let me know what y'all thought in the comment section down below. Make sure if you did enjoy the video to subscribe, punch the notification bell, maybe even leave a like so I know you liked it. And I'll see you guys next week. I might see y'all sooner than that if I do a, a review or a preview breakdown or if y'all watch my other videos. If not, until next review.